everybody, I'm Dave and this is Salute a Great Farm. And today I want to show you how to lay out the perimeter of a greenhouse. And the greenhouse, um, before I get into that, the greenhouse is going to be a 30 foot by 96 foot greenhouse. And I'm going to use a hydroponic system to grow tomatoes. Hopefully uh, close to year round, maybe 9, 10, month, 10 months out of the year. And um, it's going to be similar to this one right here. It'll have a little bit higher sidewall, going to have a little bit higher radius on the on the ends there. And uh, it's going to be made out of thicker pipe. This one in particular is made out of inch and three eighths top rail. It's a uh, the fence po fenced rails that they use for chain link fence. This one's going to be made out of two inch 15 gauge uh, fence posts. You can pick this up at a fencing supply store and it's it's the most common place to find stuff like this. You could even, you can pick up this at uh, Home Depot, the inch and three eighths. And sometimes you may be able to find this, this thicker stuff, um, but you'll get a better deal at a fencing supply store and uh, have a better selection too. Um, anyway, these come in 24 foot lengths. I think they could also come in like 21 or 12 and 10 foot. Get them at any length. Um, but I end up getting this one at 24 foot and this one is 21 foot. I'll end up cutting them down um, but anyway, I'll show videos on that and I also want to show you how show I'll show you videos also on how to build the other greenhouse trusses um, But anyway today, I'm going to get into showing you how to today I'm going to show you how to lay out the perimeters Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out where you want it uh, This one is running east to west and I want to be about 10 foot off there and it's gonna um And the reason for that is for when snow slides off this greenhouse and snow slides off that greenhouse, it doesn't build up and make a huge snow bank here that ends up pushing and collapsing the greenhouses. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to put a garden bed or two in between. So anyway, um, the posts will be about two foot longer than the greenhouse on each side. These, the, the posts that I'm putting in, the wooden posts. So essentially it will come out two foot here. I'll put in a wood post. On the other side, I'll put in a wood post that's two foot longer that way. That way, when I go ahead and drive in this corner post, the wood post doesn't have to be moved. It can stay there. And then when I get the wood post in, I'll run a piece of twine, baler's twine, across them, and I'll level that. And I'll use, I'll set these, I'll set these sidewall posts at that height of that line all the way across. And I'll use that to keep them all straight in line and get them all the same height. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'm going to run out my 100 foot tape measure. And I'm going to put posts in on each corner. And then... I'm going to do some calculations on a uh, on a website, but basically I need to find out if this is 100 foot from, from here to there, and that's going to be 30 foot from there to the other post. I need to find out how long this is from that corner, follow me here, to that corner. After I find out how long this should be, Based on that calculation, then I will take a I'll take this tape measure, this long one, and I'll run it from corner, from this corner to the one that I just showed you, and then I'll take a another tape measure and run it from this post to that post, and where they meet at that calculation that I make made. Is um, is where that other post is where that post is going to go. Okay, so here is the layout of our greenhouse. It's 96 foot wide, or it's 96 foot long, and uh, 30 foot wide, and it's running east to west. And what I want to do is I want to put posts, wood posts, about two foot off each corner. I use uh, tomato stakes, um, but you can use anything that you can. That you can screw um, put a screw in so that way you can run your baler's twine off of it um, anyway so we want to we want to find out 
how far it is across this corner and what it is what this is what this makes is a right angle triangle and so it's really easy to do if you google right angle triangle calculator it comes up right in google and you enter for this for this greenhouse you'd enter your 30 foot and your 100 foot this is 90 96 plus two foot here and two foot there so you'd want to enter 30 foot for one length 100 foot for this next length and what this comes out to be is 104.6 so so I'm going to take my my long 100 foot tape measure so I'm going to take my long 100 foot tape measure and I'm going to tie a 4.6 foot piece of twine on the end of it and I'm going to attach it here to that to that wood post and then I'm going to run it to that corner and then I'm going to have a I'm going to take my 35 foot tape measure I'll hook it on this post and I'll run it there and where the 30 foot meets the end of the end of this tape measure at 104.6 foot is where that post will go and then I'll run I'll do the same thing for this side I'll take a 30 foot measurement I'll run my 100 foot tape measure out that way and where that meets is where I'm going to put that post and then just just to just to double check this I'm going to measure this 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 dimension and if that comes out to be a hundred foot then we know that we're good sorry I got um, my daughter she just wants to sharpen all the pencils I guess right while I'm trying to make this video <laughs> not all the pencils just four of them um, okay so then once if you do it this way it, your your corner post will be 100% square and then so what I'm gonna do is hi Joe say hi, hi. all right so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a piece of twine here here and from from corner to corner and I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna take a laser let me clean this up a little bit uh, no not right now all right Can you see that? Yeah. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a laser and it's just a, a small picture. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, let me finish this video, ladies. I'm going to take a, uh, a, a laser and it's a picture frame laser leveler kind of thing. And I'm going to set it in the middle and it shoots out a laser um, in one direction. And what I'll do is... I put it on like a like a box or something like that and it'll shoot the laser out this way and I'm on that post and I'll on this post here and I'll mark it mark that post wherever that laser is so let's say that's the post I'll mark it and then I'll turn it mark that post turn it again mark this post and then turn it again and mark that post and, and uh, hey. Hey, did you know if I flip it over there's another side, see? That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wow, you sharpened both sides. Okay. Um, so, where was I at? Okay, so then once I get all of these corners marked, then um, that'll give me kind of where they are. Okay, let's say I want my sidewall to be three foot tall. And my laser mark is uh let's just say seven inches off the ground all i need to do is figure out the difference and uh with the f figure out the difference of this one and then add it to make it three feet and add it to all four of those corners i hope that makes sense then i'll take a screw and i'll put a screw in at that level on each corner and then i'll run the baler spine off of that Okay, so I typed in right angle triangle calculator into Google. And right here is um, 
where you put in your dimensions, there's the 30 foot length, and there's the 100 foot length, which is the 96 plus the two foot for each side, and the and C, there's a really complicated formula that I can't figure out, but C will be your dimension that, that you need to run kitty corner across both corners to find your, your measurement. Okay, and there it is, 104.4. I stretched my tape measure across here, and I have uh, Josephine over there holding the tape measure on the other post. And right where these two meet, that's where I'm going to drive this post. And it says 100, but it's 104 by 30. Okay, I got my screw set in. I got it all set up the right height. And I put my, uh, my baler's twine in. I bought a whole roll of it. Uh, it's about 20,000 feet, and it's a 100-pound test, 150 pounds, something like that. And uh, you can pick it up at Tractor Supply. It's really cheap. Way cheaper than buying like natural twine from Home Depot or anything like that. Um, anyway, so that's all set up. Ready to uh, ready to set in my ground posts to that height. Alright, so the next video that you'll see will be the video on how to make the, these trusses for this 24 foot wide greenhouse which can be scaled up or down uh, not really up because it's too not for not for this size pipe uh, 24 foot is about the maximum you can use for the inch and 3 8 pipe but um anyway i'll i'll show you how to build these trusses out of the inch and 3 8 top rail and then when i get into um when when i get into building this other greenhouse then i'll show you how i uh, build those trusses. Alright, thanks for watching.